Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll take a look at a very um, important question pertaining to triangles in general, so that we can get a clear idea about the properties of triangle also. So the question is in triangle ABC, AB equal to AC. So basically, AB is equal to AC. Okay. So we have that, and A and C are two points. And uh, sorry, D and E are two points on AB and AC. So D is on AC, E is on AB. Okay, such that ED, uh, AE equal ED equal B, uh, DB equal BC. Okay, so angle ABC is given by M by N. So angle ABC is given by M by N, where M and N are relatively prime positive integer so we need to find r m plus n okay so let's do one thing all right so uh, as you can see in triangle ade here ae is equal to de so we can uh, actually conclude that this is an isosceles triangle since both uh, sides are equal so we can actually conclude this angle will be equal to this angle okay similarly in triangle DEB, again uh, DE and DB are equal. So this angle will be equal to this particular angle. Again, in triangle DCB, again DB is equal to DC. So this particular angle will be equal to this particular angle. So now let's try and solve this question. So let angle B A C equal to X. Okay. So as angle B A C equal to X, B A C equal to X. So B A C will be uh, this particular angle I'm taking as, I'm taking this as X. So as a result, this angle will be X and also this particular angle will be 180 minus twice x okay so let me just write this down so therefore angle a d e equal to angle e a d equal to x as uh, isosceles triangle like what said and therefore angle a e, d is 180 minus twice x because the angle uh, the triangular sum is 180 degrees so we subtract the same now since this angle is 180 minus twice x and uh, so angle this particular angle will be twice x okay just let me write with a darker color This particular angle will be twice x and this will also be twice x and this one will be 180 minus 4x. Okay. So let me just write down the same. So now angle B E D equal to angle E B D equal to twice X. Yes, already explained in the video itself. And therefore angle E D B E D B will be 180 minus 4X. Okay, I hope things are clear. With that said, now, here since uh, now we can see that angle B, D, C plus angle E, D, B plus angle A, D, E, they form 180 degree because straight line. Okay. 
okay so what is angle bdc uh, we have to find out and this particular one edb uh, edb we have is so angle bdc plus 180 minus 4x plus ade uh, ade is x all right equal to 180 degrees good so therefore we can conclude angle bdc is x which will be equal to angle bcd and therefore so uh, again in the figure if we take a look this will be okay this is 3x 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 my bad let me just correct the same 3x and therefore angle cbd would be 180 minus 6x okay so uh, hopefully uh, everything is clear so let me just mark it in the mark it in the diagram itself t minus 6x okay now let's take a look at the same again in triangle abc okay angle abc equal to angle acb s ac equal to ab okay so therefore what is angle abc angle abc will be 180 minus 6x plus 2x equal to 3x okay so if we solve this equation we get 4x 4.3 x equal to 180 by 7 so now our desired angle being angle b which is 180 minus 6x plus 2x equal to 180 minus 4x would be 180 minus 4 into 180 By seven, this would enter. Give me five hundred forty by seven, which is our required answer. So hopefully this particular sum is clear to you. This particular sum could have been easily solved by the figure itself, but then again I have elaborated the same with the help of uh, in detail way so that you can get a better understanding on how to go about solving this kind of questions. So with that said. Uh, I'm signing out thank you so much